So uh, thank you everyone for joining us and, and for making this such a great world premiere for Olympia. Um, I'm going to just start off with a couple of quick questions and then I'd love to open it up to the audience. Uh, and so, um, you know, I will start with Harry real quick uh, and, and ask you, you know, you, you've taken such a, a sort of poetic Can way. I interrupt you? Yes, please. Can the people who got involved in this film stand up, please? Everybody stand up, stand up. Thank you very much. This could not have happened without these people. Alexia, get up. Get. Thank you very much. Sorry, Basil. That's OK. Uh, can you talk a little bit? Did you always have a sense of this kind of poetic approach to telling Olympia's story? Um, you know, there could have been a very sort of, uh, sort of greatest hits kind of approach taken. You took a very different kind of approach to sort of connect with sort of this sense of longing, this sense of, of background of, of Greece and all of that. Can you talk a little bit about sort of that approach? Yeah, when, when I met Andrew for the first time, Andrew um, is one of the editors together with uh, Sam. When we started talking about this, we said we don't want it to be your typical biopic because also you know you have somebody like Olympia who is one of the most intelligent people I've ever met like her brain is just you know beyond and it wouldn't do service to her to do like your typical bio doc Absolutely. so I didn't know what I wanted to say I didn't know <laughs> what I wanted to do but I just trusted that if I stick around and I remember she kept complaining going why are you interested in this great mother shit? No one cares about that. <laughs> and I was like, well, I do. Um, and then once we had the footage and we started looking at it, it was easy to, I mean, easy. It took us three years to edit right. this. But it, it, uh, it, she lent, you know, mm -hmm. who she is lent us the ability to, to do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Not to mention your talent. <laughs> Yeah. Harry, a round of applause for Harry. Good work, friend. And, and Olympia, if I can ask you, uh, did you have any sense? I mean, the, the the scene of you going back to Greece and especially talking to those yayas was just so effective. I'm Greek too, so that I was there. All my grandmothers are all everybody as well. Did, going, you mean going back to the village? Going back to the village and talking to those older older women. I mean, that was very affecting. Did you know that it would affect you in that way? Did you have any sense that going back to Greece would affect you in that way? Well, I suspected there was a kind of a, an array of responses that I might have. And, but those women, we, we walked by them and going up and then coming back. And I thought, I just, I would, we, I would have grown up with these women. Right. And I, I just wanted to connect with them. And yeah. So. And the other thing is that when somebody goes towards Olympia, Olympia goes back. Mm. And so she went to these four women, and so she was ready to receive. And they didn't know who she was. They didn't care who she was. And so it was just this like beautiful interaction about nothing, but about everything. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And, and can I talk a little bit about the editing in terms specifically with the, the Lola, the turtle, and the uh, decision to have that sort of be towards the oh, end? Oh, that was great. So great. Absolutely great. I love that turtle. That was I think wonderful. I mean, I should. That came about just by listening uh -huh. to Olympia. Um, I, you know, I think you can try to make something, something that it's not, mm -hmm. but um, we were coming through the footage and uh, we were looking at the end of Mycenae which is the kingdom of uh, Clytemnestra and Agamemnon. And uh, Olympia was talking about her reaction to the turtle. And I just, you know, it struck me as, as the perfect poetic ending. Um, I mean, it struck us, you know, that way. Um, and, Absolutely, you know, yeah. uh, it, it's all about listening to your, to your subject. Mm -hmm. I mean, I th think that's how we found it. Yeah, perfect. We, we also, uh, going into it three years ago, we, we, we knew two things and two things only. Excuse me, I've got a cold. Uh, one was we knew exactly what we didn't want to do with the, with the film, and we had like hundreds of hours of footage. And the second thing we knew, and Harry and I and Sam would look at each other, we, we, we know we don't want to make a greatest hits bio, very important. And every time we, we would wander into that territory, we, we would just stop down tools and, and leave for the day. Um, but we also knew that the turtle scene was going to be in the film. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that was, <laughs> that's all we knew, for the, you know, through three, four hundred hours of material. That was like our initial structure and our initial conversation. And the rest of it was just sheer hard work. 
Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> And, and Olympia, if I can ask you one more thing before I open it up to the audience. To, to what do you account for the longevity of your career and your ability to be so versatile stage and screen um, and to, to still be so vi vibrant and working now? Can you, what, what do you attribute your abilities as, an, as a performer? Well, uh, you know, I, I keep, I've asked, I'm asked that question a lot. I can answer. You ask that question a lot, yeah. And um, it, it's changed, uh, you know. I, um, I'm really not interested in acting anymore. Uh, the thing that gives me real pleasure is teaching. Um, I'm, I'm doing Tales of the City now, yes. right? I'm doing that, but that was, um, that's such an incredible memory. I mean, it, it, it uh, <laughs> It's really, uh, and so uh, I'm really privileged to be able to be doing that. Yeah. You know, so I don't know that I have a career. I have this Tales of the City that is now, for some strange blessed reason, has come back. Yes. Thank you for having <laughs> it back. We we're so excited for it. Yeah, I, do not, I, I wouldn't say that I had a career. And um, I'm r rather grateful that that time of great effort and that time of, um, I don't know, gearing yourself up all the time. Mm -hmm. and, you know. And you know why I, it took me three months to convince her to do a documentary? Because she was like, who the fuck cares about Olympia Dukakis? Well, clearly this room tells me and, uh, who does. The other, well, I, I, can, I can answer the question, I think, a little better. Uh, I think she utilized acting to find out who she is, mm. to go through her emotions, her relationships. And I think that's why she kept acting, because every time... And that's why she didn't do much television, and that's why she didn't do commercials. She wanted to do theater, which had like strong characters that, that questioned her, that pushed her. And I think... You know, it was basically her coming of age. Yeah. Like, th you know, theater was her coming of age. Yeah. And now I'm doing television. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a special TV show. I'm ending my well, career with, with television. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, and, and I'm and believe me, I'm very pleased that. to be doing it, and it's a wonderful part, and and I'm working with some terrific actors, and uh, so I'm. And Alan Poole is here, <laughs> somewhere. Oh, great. Excellent. Yes, right there. <laughs> Wonderful. Victor, Victor Garber is yeah, here, Victor. I think. Yes, that's right. Yep. <laughs> right. Wonderful. And Sasha. Is Sasha here? No, she didn't. She didn't make it. Okay. Well, uh, I'd love to open up to some questions from the audience. Uh, please, uh, yes, um, right, way, way in the back right there. There's a microphone. Thank you all. Um, I'm curious to hear um, some of your reminiscences about um, working with um, Nikos Psacharopoulos at the Williamstown Festival. Oh. And if he, um, as a Greek Ameri as a Greek American, if he helped you to help um, find your identity more, Nico Sagaropoulos. So, um, yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, he gave me a job, <laughs> and that was what was important. Um, he had seen me in the park. Uh, we had done. Some, I don't know what we we did there, a lecture or something. And he'd seen me in the park, and he wanted to get to know me. And he was wary of me. You know, Greeks are a little. <laughs> <laughs> and um, but we got along well, and and we all argued and fought. And Austin, Austin, and, and I spent years up at Williamstown uh, working with uh, Nikos and other directors, and and. Uh, uh, he was, uh, I, he believed in me. He believed I could do the big parts. Wonderful. That's, uh, and, so, and that meant a great deal to me. Great. Uh, question right here. Just, uh, there'll be a microphone coming right quickly. Olympia, giant. Ah, yes. <laughs> Diane Ladd, everyone. Yes. <laughs> you made it. Listen, Olympia. <laughs> I just, 
I just want to say, A, you're starring in a TV show. You got a big and powerful documentary right there on the screen. And Olympia, you have a career. <laughs> <laughs> and Diane, you're a Sagittarius like I am. <laughs> yes. But Olympia, I also want to thank you and you and Harry and all. I think this is a very important piece of work. And uh, I, I was very moved many, many times. But toward the end, when you were cutting from the turtle and you talked to the old ladies, and the minute you got in the car, and then you started walking into the arena back and forth with the turtle, I really started to cry. And I said to my friend sitting next to me, this documentary is not just about an actress. It's about a woman, and it's about life, and it's about all of us. And I thank you for being you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. Thank you. That's lovely. Uh, next question. Oh, yep, over here. And great. I, uh, oh, hi. Thanks. I just wanted to thank the filmmakers for sharing the breadth of your work. But I also wanted to thank you, Olympia, for uh, rediscovering uh, the, the, the myth or well, the reality of God as a woman. And, and you, the more you read in history, oh. you find out that, you know, like Hypatia of Alexandria was a philosopher and she was assassinated by the early Christians. And it every, turned my life around. That, that historical information turned it around. I mean, I didn't understand what the world had been and how it had been manipulated and um, controlled. And I, I didn't, and I, I'm sure if it started the other way around and went to women, it would have, you know what I mean? I'm not talking about that. But I didn't know about that. We're not taught about it. Women don't know about it. Men don't know about it. No, I think um, <laughs> even Mary Magdalene was probably cut out of the picture. She's always made the, the fallen woman, and she probably helped finance that ministry. I, that's what I think. <laughs> well, and it, so, was really important, it was really important for me to put that story in, especially at this moment in time when I grew up with, you know, girls and women and we just knew inherently that they were less than us, the boys. And we didn't know the reason, but that's what we were taught. And when I learned all these things from Olympia, it just blew my mind. And I'm like, oh my God, like everything you ever thought of as true was completely false. And we were, you know, and it's, you know, now with the Me Too movement and the empowering of women, I thought it, it's really important to get the history behind it. Because yes, the Me Too movement and, and other movements are great, but if you understand history, it really goes deeper inside of you where you change. You're like, I don't want this bullshit anymore, you know? So, yeah, and I think Olympia... And I think we're a little threatened by the power of these women. <laughs> <laughs> We have time for one last question. I see one behind there. I just want to say thank you so much to the filmmakers, Harry, and everyone involved, and Ms. Dukakis. Um, it's a privilege to be here and see this this evening. And so much of what you share in the film is, are your insights into life. And I'm just curious what new insight you might have gained in the process of making this film and also seeing it. Well, when Harry came to me, I, he said he wanted to do this. I said, OK, but I'm not raising any money for it. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> you want to do this, you do it yourself. I said, I'm not interested. You know, I lived my life. I'm not interested in doing. And then, you know, as time went on, and we talked, and I he began to shoot, and things like that happened. I began to realize that it was an opportunity for me to put up a telescope and look at my own life. 
that it was, and usually we do that and we don't have the kind of support that I got. So um, it's, been, it, it's been rather extraordinary when you come right down to it that, um, that this has happened. Um, I have to apologize to my grandchildren for all the swearing. <laughs> <laughs> They're all waving to me. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Uh, is, is that sufficient an answer? I, don't... That, I, think, that's, I think that's lovely. Uh, Mr. John Katsimatidis, please. Oh, okay, one more. <laughs> Hi! Hey, Thanks for your support, Mr. Katsimatidis. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you. Thank you. When you were on your island, I felt your draw. I felt that you had a gravitational pull. Yes, I did. Because I've had the same feeling when I went to my, back to my island, and I had tears in my eyes when I saw you talking to those women, because your forefathers, going back maybe a thousand years. Right, that. right. And I think that was the most emotional part uh, to the documentary, and it was the greatest documentary I've ever seen. And it Aww. just No, it's, it, it's, it shows the emotion and I think that's the mo most important thing. And you did a great job. And Harry, you did a super, super job. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. All right, Harry. So that is, a, that is a perfect note to wrap things up. I want to thank you all so very much, Harry and Olympia. Thank you so much for joining us here and for, for bringing this wonderful film to Doc NYC. We very much appreciate it.